Hey friends, Young's Paper Creations. I am back. I am back with Fall into Autumn. Yes, I'm falling, falling into autumn. And I'm getting a little bit uh, wary of the fact that we're coming to a close very shortly. I've been so inspired and driven and excited to be a part of this wonderful collaboration uh, that was set up. And I just want to give a hearty thanks to Art in the City. And that's with um, K, K Hai, and Danny from Junk Journals and more. And so we had, um, the, the, fall, the first week was Halloween. And then the second project was Autumn Woodland. And the third followed with Coffee. And now we have Autumn Farm. Soon to be followed, gratitude. And I am so pleased to bring to you my fourth project. And um, I just want to say hi to all the ladies out there. You're probably feeling the same as I. You know, it's so wonderful to have something to work on and look forward to. And now it's coming soon to a close. So I hope there's uh, some more good... Uh, projects coming on and collaborations that we can work on together. So here is my uh, fourth project, Autumn Farm. I have my journal. I made a journal and I wanted to uh, get some baskets and bags because when I think of farm and farming, you're always looking for baskets to put eggs in or something. And on the wall, there's always something to put your mail and such into. And um, so there we have that. But I, um, I was so happy to find at Michael's this paper pack for my autumn farm and so for the autumn farm I decided to go with this uh, spiced pumpkin and um, so that's a spiced pumpkin from Michael's the paper pack that I've chosen to work with And I'm so happy to say I just enjoyed cutting into the paper. I've not in a very long time tore into a paper pack like this. And it's about time because we have so many paper packs and there are so many wonderful paper packs coming out. So I need to start sharing and using up my paper. So... Here's my basket. I hope you can see that quite well. And I was able to get, I want to give credit to uh, Scrapbooking with Me Craft. I think it's Eve from Scrapbooking with Me Craft. And so I, this is the large basket, which used only one sheet of 12 by 12. And then this one was also by her and um, she entitled it uh, she made a door hanger where she had a large circle here she had a large circle here and then she used it to hang on a door well I decided to put a smaller circle because I wanted to make this into a uh, a wall hanger just to hang it onto the wall and I can put stuff into here so I cased it and altered the concept just a tad but it's quite sturdy and I'm happy about that so let's get into the journal I am psyched about the journal it is a lovely chunky paper bag journal that I made for my autumn farm 
project. It is so nice and chunky, and yes, I did not count the pages, but I will put it in the description. So it's a paper bag journal, and I wanted it to be scrappy and, you know, autumn-like in browns, because this is autumn, and there's some... I, w I will get into it. So here I've got a pocket here. I layered the uh, paper bags. So when we open here, here's another pocket. You'll be able to write here. Then there's tuck spots at the back. So lots of tucks and flaps. So this is the front cover. And I will be putting this up for sale. I don't have an Etsy, but I do have my website at youngspapercreations.com. You can contact me there or via email. This is for sale. And if you contact me, I will, uh, I will make note when it's sold, okay? So if you do not see sold, it is still available. And so here's another pocket. Here's a tuck spot. This here is a tuck spot. I didn't want to fill up every spot because it is quite chunky. Here is writing space. So I layered these writing spots. Again, more pockets. Pockets. Vintage paper and wallpaper and books vintage books and not so vintage books vintage magazines paper pads extra scrappy i tell you i had a ball and i just kept going and going and not wanting to stop it was so therapeutic it is actually one something in the morning and I just couldn't sleep. I took a quick nap and woke up again and continued because I wanted so much to work on this. I am so excited and sight. This is the best thing that ever happened to me, being able to collaborate on this project and come together with all the other ladies to showcase our talents and um, focus on falling into autumn. So, of course, I have lots of writing area because I'm all about journaling. You will forever hear Aisha at Young's Paper Creations talking about the benefits of journaling and the importance of journaling. Warren Buffett and Oprah, Lady Gaga, Jennifer Aniston, Ernest Hemingway, you name it, all journalers. And so, success leaves a trail and that is for us to journal. Get your thoughts on paper. Thoughts have a shelf life and if we don't put them down to pick them up again, they will be gone. So, yes, journaling. And so here we're coming to the back. I have more extra writing spots. I have, this is another tie away area that's hidden for journaling and pocket. And then we tie this back. And more writing spots, more writing spots, and a tuck area. And the back. I am loving this. I wanted it to be rustic. You know, when you're on a farm, you know, you will find at this time of year, to me, I imagine and envision this type of rustic 
oranges and browns and such. And I remember being uh, in, back in high school going on going away camping with the school and just you know at this time of year and just walking through the wooded areas this is what I remember these colors and shading is just so beautiful this is my autumn farm journal my fourth project one more to come gratitude so fall into autumn. Thank you, Kay. Thank you, Danny. Thank you, ladies. And this is available for sale. So let this be yours. Find a home. I will count the pages. But as you can see, it's a chunky monkey. And all of my soft covers, regardless of the size, I'm just getting carried away. But they're all $15, my soft covers. This is a paper bag journal. Rustic autumn farm thank you so very much for taking the time remember to like and subscribe if you're not yet a subscriber like and subscribe young's paper creations at gmail.com thank you so very much thank you take care and blessings